All right, um, welcome everybody. Welcome back to the Morpho Project. I hope you all uh, had a lovely day because I did. And uh, let's get started on this uh, great, great project again. So uh, what we're going to be doing now is actually uh, getting a new color. Use that color to get into the part over here. So yeah, we're going to pick up a new color, make a new layer, and then go onward. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get started, and um, I hope you're all going to be enjoying today. So, today we're going to be working and getting that beautiful color right there. So we're going to grab a new color. Uh, let's see. Let's go for this one. Let's go for a little bit of reddish. Um, because we actually... Ooh, boy. Let's go for a little bit of reddish. This one, there we go. Gonna switch to full screen because I forgot that. And uh, let's get started. So the idea here is that we're gonna put a reddish kind of color on the tips of the wing part. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So that's also what we're gonna be doing. So I hope you're all gonna be enjoying this because this one is actually quite nice. It's going to create this lo lovely reddish. See, that's the red. And that's how you get to remove it. So we need uh, we need the other brush. We need to have the soft brush here to get the color correctly done. We need 10, yes. So like this we need, that's like the big part and then we're going to be casually, gently removing it. Like that? Is that good enough? I think it is, right? Yes, that's good enough. Just need to make sure that I have like this done and then... There you go. That should be it. Cool. So now to the next one. And I'm gonna be casually So that should be working. Mm. I don't know if it's going to be working quite how I wanted it to be, but I imagine it will. Oh. Damn it. Come on. So yeah. Um so that's what I'm gonna do. Let me just take a look. Yeah, that looks nice. So the idea here is that we are gonna be working on this um on these colors and then making sure that everything works fine. So these colors are actually representing, you know, the uh, patterns of the colors. I wanted to just double check here to get all the colors done. Uh, that's that would work. Allow me to just ch double check here. Yes, that would work. All right, cool. So it is not. It does not feel redundant. Cool. It doesn't feel redundant, so it should be working fine. Alright, cool. So we're gonna do first the big ones and then we're gonna continue with the same 
uh, wave of these things. So I'm going to be working here and then casually get them back. Yes, and then need more batter. So work around this. Here you can see it like instantly, like boom. That's the color that we want. It's not the color that we're going to get. So. Oh. I wonder if I need to actually. No, I don't. I don't need to. Cool. So yeah. Um. Let me double check on this just for my voice. Ah. Because I need to know if I know things. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Cool. Voice works well. That's good. Um, this works well. This is only the pro the problem with this uh, with this uh, with these with this color. It's like it's a little bit more concentrating. So the idea here is that I'm gonna create these bl uh, red, uh, not dots, but uh, point tips. Which I think that's the word. Yeah, point tips. Plume punts. Uh, other words, come on, I can do it. You know, just the point to get this uh, effect that it has, like this color in it. So what I'm going to be doing here is uh, representing the color schemes. Uh, we have them. So we have, if I'm correct, we have red now, we have the dark red, and we have the gray color. Yes, we do. And that's the idea. So we only need now the light color. Uh, now we only need the light color of it as as well, and then we can um, we can uh, finish it. So we only need then only one more color in it, and we have the full color scheme. The main downside is that this is going to be probably really hard once we're getting upwards. So now it's like really easy to do. And then later on, it's like a little bit more difficult, but eh, nothing holds me back when I try to do this anyway. So, um, I hope you all had like a good day today, and uh, I'll tell you how my day went. Um, today, I actually did some cooking, um, I made some gyros with. Uh, with potatoes and bacon and uh, some split beans, if I'm correct, that's the right word here. And uh, I uh, made that myself, and I'm very happy upon that, that I proved myself I could make it. Also, the quality of it was good, so I was even more impressed, like, oh my god, I actually did what I needed to do, make a decent quality meal, instead of going for fast food. So yeah, I did that, and um, I'm very happy about it. I normally, you know, uh, don't need to do that just yet. Hold on. Uh, the only downside was like, you know, the uh, split beans were actually a little bit rubbery, because of rubbery because of the. Uh, I apparently did not do that. I did not cook them for too long. And that happens, you know, you, you can make mistakes on those things. So yeah, um, so I made some good uh, good food. I'm hoping that, you know, the good food stays good. So Next time I'm going to be cooking, it's going to be something totally different. Normally I always like to keep on, uh, keep with rice, but uh, Sometimes you need to uh, try something else, like potatoes or, I don't know, pasta maybe. So yeah, I try to do my very best upon getting, uh, keeping variety in my uh, in my dishes. But that's all. That's always really hard to do, especially if you are, you know, used to do something else. So you need to actually go 
do it in the system. Um, so today we're going to be working on this beautiful part here. You know, it's going to be good. So it's going to be with a lot of color. And all this color is going to be just representing the... Uh, how do you say this? It's going to be representing the top point of it. It's going to be uh, an eye-catching thing that uh, will be in the whole damn thing. So all these colors are, on, are from the color scheme that we already have decided on, on the wing part. And we're going to be using this color scheme to represent the whole damn bird. Why do we want to do that? Because otherwise it wouldn't make not much sense why we could go for two color schemes. It's a little bit difficult to do two color schemes if it doesn't represent the bird that great. So yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be making sure that this bird is represented correctly. To do that, I need to make sure that I have these red uh, done properly. Which, of course, you already realize that I'm not very talkative right now. But that means that I'm actually concentrating. Which is good. Which is good. But uh, it does uh, make uh, some things hard to do. Also, good news. Uh, I fixed the human po portion of the, of the drawing that I made for the live stream for this week. I think it, I believe it's this week. And uh now the only thing that needs to be done is the tentacle part. So yay. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be way easier than a human part, holy hell. I had really troubles with uh the face. Ugh. I am way too used to animals instead of humans. Or it's the other way around. It's just you know it feels awkward to draw a human face. It's like always out of shape. The same goes with the hair. It's like, ah, this hair is out of shape. Why? Not like it is physically out of shape. It's more like it's out of shape in the way of, you know, that doesn't represent hair. And then you realize, like, well, technically it represents hair, though, but it, that doesn't represent hair. It's a little bit confusing sometimes to see uh, your own art style and then realize that the hairstyle is out of shape. Also, the eyes, ugh, it's so hard to draw. It's so hard to draw a human, decent human face. I am way better off just drawing monsters most of the times, or dragons or whatever. Because at least then I don't have to re- then I at least don't have to realize the, the face part. Well, I do have to represent the face part, but it's less awkward. Oh, hey, Becca! Oh, colors are looking awesome, you Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm trying to do my very best to do to do the best. Like no one ever was. And my real quest is do it uh, by the cars. Uh, I think that's the one. So, trouble symbol, drop the quest. And pure but power white. Yes. I'm trying to do my very best. So that I can do what I need to decide. With drawing, yes. Drawing them all. Uh -huh. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best upon uh, getting the uh, getting everything done properly. Oh, hey, Blue. <laughs> That's true, modern po poet, yes. Draw them all. Nice to see you all. So, yeah, I'm trying to do my very best upon getting everything done. Even though, you know, I'm not good at drawing humans, but I, apparently I will get better at drawing humans if I just draw them all. It's just, you know, it's not a thing that I can do most of the time. It's, like, really hard for me to do it in my style. But I'll try to do my very best to get them better. And, you know, the first time I finally drew a human, it's like, how many times has it been? 
five, six, seven, eight, eight years. So yeah, it, uh, it, it took me a while to get humans done again. So, so far I'm doing, I am, I'm very happy I'm doing quite good with drawing humans. So, I'm very happy how far I already got. And don't blame me on that. I'm very happy. I'm so fucking happy that I finally did it. I, I made a human again. Now the only thing it's missing is a grappling tentacle octopus to rip his blood... Oh, well, not rip. Well. Crush his... Crush his body. Yes. The crush. Octopus do crushing damage. When they grapple. So yeah. This thing is gonna be crushing this poor innocent man while he's trying desperately to reach his sword to cut this beast into half. Well, that's the idea at least. And I hope you guys are gonna be liking it. I'm gonna have the Pokemon song stuck in my head all day. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Draw human creatures thing, yeah. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to do it, all right. I didn't mean to do it. It's just that swingy. It's just that it's, it's just, you know, the thing that I always do. It's the thing that I always like to do, you know, just come up with something and then realize like, ah, yes. Humans. Humans. So yeah. Um I hope you uh, uh I hope you're not mad at me, Blow, for giving you the sticky, stuck, stuck or what? What? What's a good? What's a good word for it? Stuck arenas? Yes, probably. Being stuck, uh, being stuck on uh, on a sentence of a song, because of me. I hope you don't don't take it too much. Don't take it too too hard on yourself yet. I was the one to blame. It was I. It it was it was I, it was I. Yes, all oh, right. So yeah, gonna make these beautiful fire rat wings, which makes it really cool. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, are not mad at me for putting that uh, beautiful song in your heads. Because it's important, it's important for me to just make things up as I go, while I'm trying to do my drawing. <laughs> oh no, I meant when when I got crushed by tentacle. <laughs> yes, that's indeed a problem. Getting crushed by tentacle problems. That's uh, that's indeed a thing that you need to hate when uh, when that happens. Like. Ah yes, the tentacle monster finally crushes me. Ah yes. Where did it come from? I don't know. The DM just summoned it in in the middle of nowhere. It's like ah, tentacle monster. No, I'm gonna be dying. No. So yeah, tentacle monster is gonna be a thing. So uh, hopefully uh, hopefully I will get it up and running before the live stream comes, so everybody can look at it like, look at that beautiful monster. Yes you are. Yes you are. So yeah. Everybody's gonna be like, "Oh, that's a beautiful tentacle monster! Look at it! It's trying to crush this poor old man to death!" Ah. So yeah, I hope that's gonna be, of course, not the thing that you're gonna be realizing. Like, "Oh my God, that's that's horrible! That's the that's that's the picture that you need to imagine." You know, this old poor old man getting crushed. Not the poor, not that it is not bad. That did I do the red hair? No, oh, yes, I did. But oh man, that's that's barely not as normal. Yeah. So yeah, um, the poor old man is gonna get crushed, and uh, hopefully I will be able to uh, draw the octopus thing uh, tomorrow fully, so that I can then you know do the dr doing the color part uh, uh, at the at the stream. Even though probably I'm not be able to finish it, I would be very handy dandy if it if it works properly. So yeah. So yeah, that's a that's a thing. That's a thing. <laughs> that's a thing indeed. Ah. 
Oh, I like I like to burn the orange color, uh, bur burnt orange color a lot. Yeah, the color uh, gr uh, gr uh, granite is going with the feathers, and it makes me happy. Ah, uh, I'm glad I can make people happy right now. Yes, the co the burnt orange color is really nice. It's a uh, it's a nice little thing, you know. Normally, back in the day, people like to see fire. So yeah. I think uh, fire always goes well. Also, I need to now make sure that all this beautiful co color red is also included in the crystals. So technically, I should then also make the crystals color red. Eh, I think I can do that. That's that's possible. That's a deal. That's a deal that I can make. So yeah. So yeah, that's a that's a thing that I'm gonna be making. Um. Oh wait, this needs to be a little bit more back. Yes, there you go. There you go. Easy. Easy. Easy as shooting lad. There you go. So um So what I'm gonna be doing here is only not this is definitely not a highlight this is just to create the color patterns that I'm already using the uh, to create this effect of you know that these feathers do have the same thing that is also in the wings therefore I also need to do the wings oh boy I need to do the wings oh boy um yes I need to do redo the wings oh no so yes it's a thing and I uh, start here yep there you go I was looking where I needed to start here. I got a little bit distracted. So yeah, um, I'm very happy how far I got already, and I'm very happy that you guys are actually enjoying this. So uh, that's a good that's a good thing, and I'm very happy upon that. So um, the tentacle monster thing is gonna be done tomorrow. I hopefully done so that I can then finally. Have some uh, that I can finally then work on my uh, beautiful profile. Um, not on this profile, of course, but uh, profile for uh, getting a job. I need to fix that as well. It's the portfolio I need to do. So it, uh, of course, I already have it. I just need to update it. I have like the word document somewhere, and I need to find out where it was, where it was laying all these years. Like, hmm, where did I left my thing that I need to know? to have to represent myself. Hmm, where did I left it? Somewhere. Somewhere between all the files of all the things that I have. Like all these secret files, like, you know, definitely def definitely not a dolphin file or um homework or schoolwork file, yes. Probably it's somewhere there. Of course I do not have those files, I only have like the file of games, so I should definitely look into my documents somewhere it is there. Laying, dying, like, ah, you finally visit me. Do you need me? I'm like, no, I need to replace you. No! So yeah, I need to copy and paste my own homework. Thankfully, I actually made a... Thankfully, I already have, like, a backup system. Then you're probably wondering what kind of backup system. Well, it is... Uh, it's a tutorial how to make them. So, uh, on YouTube, there is a tutorial how to make them in Word. And uh, yes, I'm probably gonna be reusing it again. Why? Because I can do it. I definitely can do it. I just need to do it again. So, yeah. Somewhere over the rainbow, wait. <laughs> Somewhere way up high, yes. So, uh, yeah, the. Uh, the, the the file that I need to represent myself is somewhere in in my computer or somewhere on the internet. I don't know. I, it's somewhere at least. I know it is somewhere, so I need to find it. It's somewhere in the Dugo God docs or somewhere in my own personal file. So if I find it, I will be very happy because then I don't need to replace it with hard doing things, and then it will take like a day. Now it only takes like. 20 minutes to update if I find it. So, yeah, um, so I did some cooking today. 
that was good. I did I did work on my uh, live stream drawing check. I'm now working on my Marfa project check. I'm getting better at humans not yet because I have not been practicing too much, but I'm getting there. Check. I'm getting better at drawing check. I'm getting better at coloring check. So what do you what do you guys think? Um, am I improving? <laughs> Well, that's a problem. That's indeed a problem. Getting sunk stuck in your head. Ugh. I remember back in the day when I had those. Oh wait, I still have them. <laughs> I always have sunk stuck in my head when I try to walk or something like doing the uh, walking with the dog. Or it makes life way more fun when you have a sunk stuck in your head. It's like ah yes, I just can casually walk here, and nobody will look at me because I'm just singing along. Yep, improvements have been made. Thanks. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And so do you, Blue. So do you. You also make very much improvements from time. Well, all the time, because you know every single time you draw, things are getting better. So that means that every single time you draw, you're getting better at your drawings. That means that Technically, if you draw many times, you will actually improve, which is good, and I like it. I like to see people improve, like myself. I like to see myself improve. Oh, da, 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 da. I made a mistake here. I should not clean that up. All right. Um. Oh well. So yeah. I really like how uh, Blue's drawings also go. Like they really have been improved from time uh, from yeah from before the time. So the time I saw them first, and then the time that I saw them now, it's like oh man, that's a really good improvement. I really like it. And the be and the more and and the be and the more and the more people draw, you know, the better they get. Well, that's normally right. That's how you normally improve. You normally improve by referencing and then go back to what you were doing in the first place and then fixing those things. Ah, uh, did I fix these things? No, I did not. I did these, I did these, I did not these, I did not these, I did not these, and I did not these. And now there should be. There you go. So, yeah. Ah, no problem. You deserve it. Everybody deserves it. Everybody deserves compliments. It's very important. It keeps people motivated, keeps people happy, it keeps people, you know. It keeps have actually compliments are important, but also the reasons why you have to compliment is also important. If you're just saying like if you if you don't if you say if you give a person a compliment and you give them a compliment that means something it will increase their happiness even more and if you increase somebody's happiness even more it's more important because the better the more happy people it the more happy people are the better the world because that person that is happy is probably going to be talking to somebody who is not happy or probably somebody who is happy and then you know that person is might be able to cheer up as well and if that person gets cheer up and then you're gonna be doing that and then you know you have this whole chain reaction of people who aren't being happy and what does that do well that improves the world and if you improve the world you know you improve yourself it's important to improve yourself first and then the world but if you do baby steps the world will be better for you I know back in the day you know when people are not that happy and you make them happy and then they're only happy for one day that is not worth it no it's more it's more worth it to make people happy for like a longer period of time therefore it's more important that the value that you hold in your thing makes it better i think i feel like in some res uh 
respect uh, respects I slide backwards technically I li uh, like I just like it I like the sketchy lines it's better than the clean line art for example yeah it does it does but I try to be very you know I try to be very good with the line art so well not very good ah depth clear I'm trying to be better at making the line art work even though this might not look like line art to you it looks like line art to me because I'm used to old fucking pictures that don't have line art therefore I teach myself how to make these kind of line arts oh well drawing no lines yes word there you go I teach myself how to make these lines it's very important for me that these lines are correct and how they do. So I don't like to have these. I don't like to have the sketchy thing. I don't like it. So that's why I'm actually using this downward brush or downward size to get the. Oh ah, da 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 da! I fucked it up. 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 Oh boy, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Ah uh, ha ha. So I I don't like this. Oh, well, I like this. I don't like this. I don't like using this kind of. Oh well. These this is this is this is my line. And if I really want to do it really good, I can line it like this. So there you go, lines. All right. Um, eraser big time. Yes, big time eraser. There we go. Now we need to lower down a uh, little bit. There you go. All right. Um, time to find the color again. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best upon the eye line art. Of course, this has no line art, but it does have line art. It just doesn't show the right line art. It it shows the line art, but it doesn't show. Uh, it's complicated. All right. It's, it's complicated for my part. It's like the line art that I'm using. Uh, just out of yourself, why isn't old philosopher gun damn it? <laughs> it's it's the line art that I like. It's it's my line art. It's 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 different. It's different than the line art other people use. People use the straight up black lines or uh, you know a color that represents the line art. I like to use a black I like to use black and then draw over it. So when I do that, it will create this beautiful effect. And of course I did use the eraser button. Oh, really dude? Really? You piece of shit. Is this the same color? Is this the same color? Nah. Let's figure it out. Let's let's find out if it's the real if it's a real deal. Is it Shady Sheaves Steel? Is this the same color? Uh, probably. I should go for them this right over here and pick this one up instead. Or just wait, hold on. Where is the. Which point has the most color in it? There you go. This point right here. That one represents the color that I need. And I can use that. To draw over it. Right. If I now draw. Is that the color? Yeah, let's see. It's the same color, right? It's the same color as the rest. Is it the same color? No, it's not. Well, this. But it's not. Ah, this is so difficult. This is so difficult. This is so difficult. I'm getting really confused right now. Why is this? What the? What? What? How? How is this brown? <laughs> How is this brown? And when I draw it over this, it turns into color. Oh my god. Um. Hmm. Okay. I need to get. I really need to be careful with this thing, with these types of colorations. Jeez, 
All right, time to zoom in and get the color then, I guess. Jeez. Yep. Yep, I'm getting... I'm getting... I made my own damn... Uh, nope. Where can I find the right color? There it is. Um, now we're gonna zoom out and we're gonna put that color right here. Why am I gonna do this? Because I don't want to deal with this color again. Why is this like this? I don't know, but this is important, all right. This is a, this is actually important for me now. So we have now the color, so we can now finally work on the color itself. Now we're gonna be looking for this, and we're gonna add some. We're gonna pick up a card that we didn't use. This one. That's too bright. <sighs> Alright, and then right now go for this one. That's the color. Alright, good. Thank God, that's the color. Alright, that's the color. Good. 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 N nothing gonna be wrong now, hopefully. Oof. Oof. Alright, um, erase this. Erase this big lump of meat. Erase it, erase it, there you go. Now we're gonna pick up the that one, there you go. No, I'm gonna pick up this one. And we're gonna pick up, we're gonna pick up this one again. Now we're gonna pick up this. So now we can actually use this color. Now we can actually use it. All right, uh, we're back. We're back in business. Oh, jeez, Louise, that's a real thing. I think that's a curse word, right? That's a curse word. But anyway, it's really evil for you know this to happen because I normally I don't. Because I'm actually using two sides of the pencil, which causes me to constantly switch and then exec accidentally open the menu, which causes me the problem. And yes, the menu can actually be activated really quickly. Because it has those two buttons on the pop top. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, we're back in black. <laughs> We're back in play. But yeah, this is this is coloring at its finest. You know, you just you realize like, oh no, I make a mistake, and then you realize like, ah, and then you finally have everything under control, and then something goes wrong. It's like Murphy's wet, uh, Murphy's law. If something goes wrong, it will be going wrong, regardless if you prepared for it or not. And I really like that law. So always make sure that you are prepared. Because if you're not prepared, oh boy. You're in for it. Alright. Nothing nothing wrong here. I totally did not shake my pen out of my hand. Because I was spooked by it. <laughs> I was scared of my own pen. That that, that that's uh that's a thing, folks. That's a thing that can happen. So don't don't be scared of pens. It's 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 uh it's silly. Don't be don't be scared of pens. Be scared of something else like I don't know clowns or something. Be scared of that. Those are spooky. Or spiders or uh, snakes. Yeah, snakes in the toilet that come out after you at night. You know, man hunting snakes. Be scared of those things, not not of a pen, you know, that you're just holding. All of a sudden, <laughs> I literally exactly throw my pen, pen, uh, pens across my room, 
at five times a day. It's from <laughs> Yeah. You know, actually, you should actually put it in like uh, a little basket net or something like that, so that you can throw them into an into a hoop, and then say like, "Oh yeah, look at me, I'm doing great here." I hoop, I hoop them into, I hoop them into a basket, and then you know you can pick them up at the place where you threw them. Maybe that will work, you know, be being the being the professional pen thrower, yeah. Professional pen thrower, right there. That would be awesome. Would it not be to doom fantastic? Ah, uh, ah, uh, the joke is there. <laughs> it's the pen jokes all over again. No. Oh boy, I cannot wait for uh, Dunn's stream to begin. Speaking of which, I should technically make sure that I know when the time is that the, he is streaming. So, I will call it a day when the 50 mark hits. 50 mark hits because I'm on the stream! Which is gonna be fun. Fantastic! <laughs> So you do remember. Ah, oh, how lovely. <laughs> well, the good news is uh, I'm not going to be spoiling anything there from the podcast. Becca, don't worry about it. I won't spoil anything. I will laugh with you and then hit my face at the, against the wall every single time. Don is mentioning that uh, when, they, that when they speak in that podcast. Oh my god. Those people are the worst. They are so creepy. And I don't mean by the good ty uh, types of creepy. They're like, I want this. I want my precious. You know that kind of uh, that kind of creepy they are. And even Gollum is not that creepy. Gollum is not even that creepy. So yep. Yeah. Ah, those people. They never learn. Nope. They never do. How lovely! <laughs> you and sounds like a fair maiden with a bat, with a bat, a bat uh, in a bad, vic <laughs> in a bad Victorian room. <laughs> How lovely! Uh, <laughs> a fair maiden. Uh, let's see. I want to know what that means. I have no idea what a fair maiden means, so I will just look it up. A fair. I know it. It is a word, so I'm gonna be looking it up just because I want to know what it is, and then translate to Dutch. I want to know. Ah. Wait. There you go. Ah. Ah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. I should not have trusted these people. The spelling lies. <laughs> That's <ev> <laughs> that is everything I appreciate to me is nigh honesty. Yeah, I am honest. I am very honest. I'm honest ape almost. But without that uh, lovely, uh, without that lovely chin though, the chin got me chins. So yeah, ah, oh, look at that. That looks so awesome. All these colors make me so blush. They make me blush in front of all of you guys. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy that this is uh, that this is almost there, and for almost halfway even. So I'm getting really happy right now. Ah, uh. but yeah, ah. Uh. All these, to all this talk, you know, all this talk about people, all this talk about color. You know what I would do to do to what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna, do I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back and say I'm, di I did great today. So yeah, 
I think I did an awesome piece of work right here. It's work in the making. Even though, you know, it's not a lot, you know, even though it's not a lot of, you know, things I can do in one hour, it's still a lot if you consider how much I do. It's like only work. Work, 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 work. Talk and work and record the work. And why do I do this? To get myself better at make doing things faster. Because if I do things faster, I can do things better, and then therefore I can do things better. Uh, well, I cannot do things faster and better, but I can do things better faster. And that's the wording. Ugh. I hate it when I misspell those things. I hope you guys were not too confused about that one. So yeah, it's a lovely day, and I'm very happy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you need to go. All right. So this one, this one, this one, and then we go here. So yeah. So I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of point of view. I really do. <laughs> Make her look her look up to uh, show look up what shown means, and then act it out. It's a good plan. All right, fine. I will find out what shown means. Sean, 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 Sean. Oh wait, Swan. Ah, there you go. Swoon. Alright. Swoon. Swoon! Ah, totally different. Swoon. swoon. Yeah, swoon. I definitely did not mispronounce that right off the bat. <laughs> Overco be, over uh, be overcome with admiration uh, or other type of strong emotion. Uh, especially for a uh, uh, faint, especially, uh, especially from a f extreme emotion. Frankly's mother swoon and she helped uh swoon swooned and had to be helped by the headmasters in the office. You can have them swooning over you for well placed words. Ah Shane Ah uh, Shane Sit Shane Oh boy all right, let, let's find out what that word means. Yeah. Ah, Shane Carney. Hey, <laughs> what does Shane mean? The what does the name Shane mean? And it's God is righteous. Yes, by the gods, it's righteous to be alive. This this Shane is a true masterful person. A religious fanatic that only believes that God is right about everything he did. Shane was a master put worker in their doing and their being. He was the man that made a legend. He was the man who conquered five altars of God and tested the test of time. He was truly the best of all the Shanes in the world. He was the Shane. Da -da 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 -da. Now we're in stores. Yeah, there you go. Easy words. <laughs> she, she, she. Certainly did not miss the belt that one. <laughs> Probably you would say Sean or something, but hey, I I went for Shane. Yeah. Probably was Sean. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, let's take a look at it. So far, so good, I would say. So yeah, uh, we did actually quite well. We um, we made this beautiful thing looking quite nice. A lot of the uh, a lot of the colors are now popping up by just looking at it. So I'm very happy upon how it already looks. Like if I now look into it, that looks awesome. All right. Um, I hope you all enjoyed for today. And I wish you all a lovely day. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then. Bye.